when he's ranting and raving and you say saying all sorts of horrible words to you yes why don't you go that's it we're leaving well i was there with my friend and it's her house as well well no but you're saying that you had fears for your safety yes you're saying that he seemed angry yes out of control yes ranting and raving yes. using foul language yes why didn't you leave because my friend but the door was right there, wasn't it? Just behind you. No one locked it. Just, just because he's ranting and raving doesn't mean that we should just submit to his anger. But wouldn't common sense, self-preservation, dictate that when there's a dangerous situation, you say, look, we'll come back another time, or we'll come back with police, or whatever other option there might be. Isn't that common sense? Just a couple of general tips, or really one in the main. When you're giving your evidence, try to avoid ad hoc comments or throwaway comments. Words like, I think, I believe, more or less. If you're not certain about something, say so. If a simple yes or a no will suffice, say so. But try to avoid comments like, like, or I think so. They're unnecessary. A classic example is, you know. If you provide an answer with the words, you know, on the end, chances are someone will be smart in the courtroom and say, no, I don't know. What do you mean? Before you know it, you're embroiled in an argument, perhaps, and certainly wasting court time. Remember, keep your answers concise and to the point and truthful. You would agree that this document appears to be notes taken on that night by the doctor? Yes. I'm not saying they're your notes, but they appear to be notes taken about your case. Yes. Now you can see at the bottom where it says, accidentally struck by girlfriend. Yes. You can see the doctor's report, that that's been written on the form. Yes. Now I know you didn't write this form, but can you give any explanation for how that appears in the form? The part where it says struck by girlfriend. I know you didn't write it, but can you give any explanation for why that would appear in that form? No. Is it what you said to the doctor? I don't think so. Well, either you did or you didn't. How could, do you not remember what you said to the doctor? I'm sure I just would have told him I was hitting the arm. Okay, well are you saying, when you say you don't remember, that it's possible that you did say struck by girlfriend? Why would you say that if it's not true? I was, I was scared. 